Here we show how a ground system is connected in the home. Firstly we have an AC source with a live, neutral and ground connection. We have a circuit breaker switching the live connection. We then have a cable connecting the circuit breaker to the socket. Here we have a typical washing machine with a 3 pin plug. Let's look inside the washing machine. Inside the washing machine we have a live and neutral terminals connected to the load and we have a ground terminal. The ground terminal is connected to the metal case of the washing machine. Let's now close the circuit breaker, turning on the washing machine. When the system is operating correctly, current flows through the live wires, through the load and back through the neutral. No current flows through the ground wire. What happens if the live conductor becomes disconnected and touches the metal case of the washer machine? Current now flows from the live through the case of the washer machine and back through the ground connection. This path has a much lower resistance when compared to going through the load. Therefore the current increases substantially. This will be detected by the circuit breaker, which then opens automatically, disconnecting the fault and removing the danger. The system has healed itself. This shows one of the main reasons why we ground the electrical system. Let's now see what happens if for some reason the ground system is not connected. This time when a fault occurs, fault current will not flow, as there is no defined fault path for the current. The circuit breaker will therefore not open. However, the metal case of the washing machine is now live, so anyone touching it will be in danger.